Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fen here. Today I want to give my opinion on this kerfuffle uh, that started from um, Brain Diddly EU. Now I sympathise with a guy 100%. I know how it feels to work so hard on something and just have it taken away from you. Um, and not having the ability to say, this is mine, I've done this. And not having the legal rights to it. That's very annoying. But at the end of the day, the only person to blame is the actual guy himself. He said it himself in his video, he did not read the Machinima contract. Now, I don't condone Machinima's contract, because the actual contract is bullshit. Everything in it is so frustrating to read, it annoys the hell out of me. So I do feel for this guy, don't get me wrong. But it's his own fault because he did not read the contract. Now, I've been watching a lot of videos, such as Deadly Slobs, Athene's video response, and they're good video responses, but then I come on to videos like this. And you can tell already she's got loads of dislikes because she's a complete tit. Um, she plasters her thumbnails with boobs to try get people to view her videos. And that's old news. People are getting sick of it. And in, in her video, she basically says, start a new channel. Because it's not a partner, machine, I have no right to it. So let's have a look at the actual contract, shall we? So here on page one... It says, add in your YouTube channels, blah, blah, blah. And it says, and any future YouTube channels launched by director during the terms of agreement, all of which shall be subject to the terms of this agreement and collectively refer to here on in as the director YouTube properties. Now, remember that, director YouTube properties. Let's jump to page three. <clears throat> Number six. Exclusive rights to sell director YouTube properties. So Machinima can sell your channel. They can sell things on your channel and you have no right to say you're not allowed to do that. They have the legal rights in this contract to sell stuff on your actual YouTube channel, which is somewhat annoying. Pardon me, that was my phone falling on the floor. Um, so just from that alone, I would not actually sign this contract. But let's move on. Um, number eight, um, access to director's YouTube accounts. So you have to give Machinima access to your YouTube accounts. And Machinima will use this information to check traffic, views, statistics, reports, all that type of things, making sure AdSense is actually enabled and all that kind of stuff. Now, it says employees or contractors on a need to know or need to use basis. So every director of Machinima is an employee. So this actually falls under them as well. Or contractors. An external third party a subcontractor of Machinima can actually have access to your account, which I do not condone. It's your account, you made it, it's got your information on, it solely belongs to you. Very annoying that one as well. Now the one thing that people are getting all fussy about is what he said in the video in his video a lifetime contract <clears throat> in fact it does say a lifetime contract in term of this agreement shall commence on the effective date and continue in perpetuity unless otherwise terminated uh, by machinima in its um, sole discretion um, with or without cause upon the provision to director of 10 days notice at the address or email first set forth above. <clears throat> Perpetuity is not a well-known word. Um, it means forever um, and indefinitely. Um, the word is not well known and they will put things like this in contracts so you would have to know the actual lingo before you actually signed it. So just imagine this scenario, you're in an office, you've gone to Machinima, they want you to sign the contract. You read this and you don't know what perpetuity means. You've got no access to the internet, you don't know anyone who knows what the word means. What do you do? Um, say, no, I can't sign the contract. Um, you know, you've got one chance to sign it. What do you do? You know, you're going to sign it. You know, perpetuity, it sounds nice. But in fact, you know, it, it's very bad in a contract because it means forever. And they use this word to their advantage. And this basically means he is bound by a contract to this forever. But this is where it gets interesting 
because they have safeguarded themselves in the contract. So if he actually read this contract, he would know it wouldn't be actually forever. And why is that? Well, apparently the state of California say a contract is only eligible for seven years. So the contract lasts seven years, a maximum of seven years before it has to be renewed. Um, and then here on the fifth page of the contract, it says um, servability. Um, if any provision of this agreement shall be under any circumstance be deemed invalid or inoperative to any extent, it is agreed and understood that the individual individuality shall not um, invalidate the whole agreement, but this agreement shall be um, constructed as not to contain the um, provision or provisions deemed invalid or inappropriate. This basically means if you take this to court and you say you are not happy with number nine uh, for perpetuity and you go to, of course, state of California, then they will put it down to either seven years or just completely take this off the contract altogether. But everything else will still be in effect, such as access, access to your um, YouTube account, selling stuff on your account um, and everything basically in the contract apart from number nine would in fact still be um, there. Um, so, there is a safeguard towards this. So all the guy has to do is take this to court and it will get sorted out. Now, he has the problem of actually getting a lawyer. Um, but I'm pretty sure with the Fiend's help, he could get someone to represent him um, and get this sorted out if he actually wants to go that far. For me... If this guy wants to give up making videos just because he can't leave Machinima, then he's not doing it for the right reasons. A thing says this himself. Create vid videos for yourself, not for profit. Um, and that is exactly true. It, profit shouldn't matter to you. Creating content should. You should be giving back to them 30k subscribers that are following you right now. And not saying, sorry guys, I can't make any more videos because I can't get out of this contract. I mean, what's so bad about being in the contract with Machinima? You get paid, you get promoted, um, you get flown out um, to Machinima. You, you get all types of um, benefits with Machinima than you would with other networks. You know, that being said, the, the Machinima contract is a bit of a, um, you know, a wasp nest. Um, I definitely won't stick my hand in there to um, take it on. Um, I mean, I'm happy with TGNs. Um, TGN is an extremely great network. Um, it's based on um, you do what you want to do. If I want to join TGN, I can join TGN. If I want to leave TGN, I can leave TGN. You know, I'm not restricted by contracts in terms of um, how long I actually have to stay with TGN. Um, you know, it, it's a good thing. So definitely look at other networks before you jump into Machinima. If you are going to sign a contract with Machinima, please make sure you read all of the contract. Um, and make sure you understand it fully before you actually sign it. Because this, in fact, could be life-changing to a lot of people. You know, making money on uploading um, videos on playing games is fantastic. You know, it, it's something new for the 21st century. It's never been done before. And we're doing it now and it's great but there's a lot of things that come with this it still is a business it still is an actual job you need to take it seriously and if you're inexperienced or you know you're a teenager you know going into a contract like this it probably isn't the best for you um, you know a lot of people when they hear um, oh you can make money a lot of people will just jump on it straight away but they don't understand the actual implications of actually signing a contract um, there's a lot of things that you do get restricted by when you do sign a contract, especially with some companies. For instance, Machinima. There's a lot of things that they require from you, um, and a lot of things they can actually do to your account. Even though it's you putting all the effort in, they can still basically ruin that for you if they want to. But I believe Machinima is a respectable company, and you know they do things pretty fairly if they didn't they wouldn't fly people out they wouldn't interview them they wouldn't promote their um, YouTube channels um, and all that <coughs> excuse me all that type of stuff so um, you know try to reserve judgment because yeah the work ethics of Machinima's contracts is bullshit but the actual company itself 
you know, it's okay. They do do more than most um, networks. Um, but again, at the end of the day, it's the own guy's fault for not actually reading the contract. It's so important. Um, and that's really all I want to say about this. Um, I do sympathize for the guy. Honestly, I do. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. There is a way out of it. Um, he just needs to lunge for that. And hopefully he can get um, his YouTube stuff back on track. Um, just before I go, the reason Machinima won't actually um, get this guy out of his contract is because he earns so much money. Um, he's got 30k subscribers. His video views range from 40 to 350k views. He's got 81 videos. So if you want to do a quick math on his actual latest video here, let's just refresh this page. Um, okay. So he's got 368k views. Uh, I'm not sure how much he gets paid. Um, let's say he gets paid, let's say $2 uh, per 1,000 views. So if we times that by 3,600 Okay, equals, so this video alone has made $736. That's a lot of money. Um, of course, he doesn't get all that money. Machinima take a big portion of that, just like any network. They take a big portion of that, they give you what's left, basically. Now, of course, the AdSense isn't um, $2. It's probably what you would get out of it. The AdSense is more like 5 to $6, and of course, you get a small percentage of that. So if we say this is a $6 AdSense on this video that we should have put on because they have a lot of really good ads. Um, if we times that by the number again, that's $2,208 that have, has been made on this video, just this one video. Now, if you combine that with all of his videos, that's a lot of money. So he's got no chance that Machinima would give up the rights to this contract so all the videos that he has got would actually be his again because Machinima are losing out on all that money. So he's got no chance of getting his videos and stuff back. Um, but he might be able to come to some agreement with Machinima that all of his um, existing videos on his existing channels um, go to Machinima and they will still make money because they still get views. But he would be able to start new um, and unpartnered, of course, um, and he won't be in a contract anymore uh, for his new channel. I mean, that's the only thing I could really think of that would get him out of this. But if he thinks he's getting his actual channel back um, from Machinima, getting unpartnered and his contract um, torn up, he's got no chance unless something really drastic happens, which I can't see happening. Um, so that's my opinion, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking about this. Um, you know, I really like to keep um, on track about what's going on in the community. I like to support people who deserve the support. Um, and I like to try help out with the best information I can gather in the small amount of time that I have. So thank you, guys. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.